The internally displaced persons in the Federal Capital Territory had alleged that they were given a three-day eviction notice, which ended on Monday. They said the order came from the FCT Commissioner of Police. And the FCT Commissioner of Police has no constitutional power to order IDPs out of Abuja. You are telling us that we should just leave this place. Where are we going? Our villages are not safe. This led to the protests by the internally displaced persons in Durumi to the office of the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, News of Mwiki, on Monday. Some of the IDPs, however, said the issue of demolition has been resolved and that the discussion are ongoing on ways to address the challenges of IDPs in the Federal Capital Territory. Let the ground for discussions. So he invited us to his office. I and the chairman of Durumi IDPs camp and uh, the secretary and a few others. We went and uh, he was with us. He went to the minister's office, came back. The chairman did not tell us a lie because somebody hinted him. And he hinted him with a strong voice. I mean to have heard it earlier, about a week earlier, that they have given them one month to evacuate to make sure the IDP, all the IDPs in Abuja are gone. We are at the IDP camps Durumi, one of the camps alleged to be mapped out for demolition by the Federal Capital Territory Administration. The deadline for the alleged demolition ended on Monday. But my discussion with the FCT Commissioner of Police this morning revealed that there was such plan on the ground, considering the risk the presence of the IDPs caused on the peace of the FCT. But the Commissioner said such order has not been activated by the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nyeson Wike. Has Akodi, AIT News, Abuja.